Welcome back to Thunkable. In this tutorial, we are going to make an app with a button. And when you click the button, the app will make a sound. Hello, I'm a button. Your third secret character is you. Let's call this app three, app three, button sound, button sound. Fantastic. Uh, to get started, drag a button onto the screen. Hello, button. Good to see you. Uh, next, let's drag a sound component into the invisible components section. Uh, now, you can't see sound, uh, so that's why you add it to the invisible component section over here. Yeah. Great. Uh, now, let's upload a sound that we're going to use for this button. And uh, we can do this by clicking the name of our app over here. Yeah. And the file we are looking for is hellobutton.m4a. There we go. Uh, and this sound file can also be downloaded if you click the link below in the YouTube description for this video. And now we can go back to the sound component by clicking on it. And here, let's paste the exact file name of the sound file that we just uploaded, which is hellobutton.m4a. Brilliant! And it's very important that this name is exactly the same name as the file, or else it won't work. Uh, now it's time to block our app and add functionality. This app will play a sound when we click the button. So let's select button 1 over here in the block options. And let's pull out the block that says, when button 1 click, do. Great, drop that in. And what do we want it to do when we click the button? Why, we want it to play a sound. Uh, so let's go into the blocks for sound one and select the sound one play block. Great. Go ahead and thunk that in. That's actually all this app takes. So now it's time to test live. Hello, I'm a button. In the next tutorial, we are going to create an app that will speak to you when you click a button. See you next time and thanks for thunking.